Happy Friday, Yellow Jacket Universe. I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Now I can definitely say the whole staff is excited for season 12 with the buzz, especially with all the new additions to the team. And even though it's only the second week of school, we still have a great show put together for you guys. Coming up this week, Spencer gives us the stats and scores from last week's sporting events. Anna steers us away from confusion in the school's parking lot. And we get to meet some of the new teachers here at Fort Mill. All that and more right after this. Almost This week's intro was inspired by the sizzling show of the summer, Bachelor in Paradise. And even though Fort Mill isn't much of a beach getaway, this hot and humid air sure does make it feel like one. The weather was almost a perfect fit for last week's tropical game against River Bluff. Here's Spencer with more. What's up Fort Mill, I'm Spencer and you're watching The Buzz Sports. Many of our fall sports teams have been grinding since midsummer, getting ready for the approaching season. Last Friday, we had a late tropical night in Bob Jones Stadium. Fortunately, the crowd brought the jack wagon and our boys came out ready to play. The football team lost 43-3 against the River Bluff Gators. Delaney was able to catch up with some of the key players on this upcoming season. Last week, Fort Mill kicked off the 2019 football season with their first game against River Bluff. While it wasn't the preferred start the team hoped to get off to, the players and the coaches still have a positive outlook on the rest of the season. I'm feeling all right. I mean, it's not really not that big of a deal. It was our first game of the season. We're still putting pieces together, trying to figure out uh, how everybody works together. I mean, mainly just playing as a team, not as, as an offense as a whole. We saw some good things, saw some bad things, so hopefully we can learn from those mistakes and uh, get better from it. The team has been working hard on and off the field since the summer, implementing new strategies to help lead them to a winning record. This season, we've tried to pretty much simplify everything down. We really want to attack that offense. Um, we want to make them pressured uh, and make them decide what they're going to have to do, not to go off a script. With the help of returning players, the team has set their goals in their sights and is ready to achieve them. We want to deserve to win every game, uh, but you can't just wait till 7.30 on Friday night for that to happen. It's uh, film study, it's uh, meeting time, it's, it's weight training, and it's what we do out of practice every day. And if we are doing the right things, doing the preparing uh, for, for the games, um, then we're on the right path to deserve to win the game. I'm Delaney, reporting for the Buzz Sports. Thanks, Delaney. I don't know about you guys, but with painting up and the all-around atmosphere of Friday Night Lights, I'm sure excited for this season. Fort Mill plays at Lancaster at 7, so be sure to go out and support. So far, Fort Mill has had a pretty successful first two weeks of school sports. Volleyball played Catawba Ridge in the home opener Tuesday night, sweeping the snakes and sending them back to the ridge, and traveled to Weddington Thursday night, playing hard but leaving empty-handed. Swimming had a busy start to the season, traveling to Clover last Thursday and winning their meet against both Clover and Northwestern. And last but not least, our Lady Jackets tennis team took to the court Monday, starting the season against the city's new Crosstown Copperheads, going 3-2 in singles and went to Lancaster, giving them the L and going 5-0 and in singles. That's all for this week, folks. If you guys want live in-game Twitter updates, follow our Twitter at the Buzz TV Sports. Back to you, Adam and Andy. Thanks, Spencer. Now we know how passionate our Fort Mill fans are, and it might be a little difficult to find parking on game nights. And with all the new parking regulations, it could be just as hard to find a spot during the school day. Here's Anna to try to clear up some of this year's traffic trouble. Student drivers at Fort Mill High School have experienced some parking changes this year. Whether you're a new driver or about to graduate, everyone has been affected by this change. My thoughts on the new assigned parking spots, um, I like them because I get to get to school later and I can still have my parking spot and I think that seniors like have privileges throughout the school and I think that this is another one. I liked last year's system better just because it gave more space to juniors but I'm sure when I'm a senior I'll like it. 
this system better. It only takes one person to mess up the whole system and then someone takes your parking spot and you're like, wow, where am I going to park? We know what questions the student body has and we asked the head of parking, Mr. Zolka, to explain and answer your concerns. We wanted to experiment with the numbered spots and assigned spots to see if we could solve some of the issues that we've had in years past. We wanted to prioritize the seniors and make sure they had spots. The juniors and underclassmen parking in the senior section is something that happens every year. It's without fail, whether we assign the spots or not. At the end of this year, we'll talk again about parking and see if we need to make more changes or if we're happy with the way it was. Um, but that's something we'll kind of keep an eye on. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Anna. It may take some time before we get used to getting around on four wheels, but some of us also getting around alongside a friend with four legs. Service dogs are companion for over half a million Americans. Reese heads up to Charlotte to learn more about these cooperative canines. Thanks, Andy. Emotional support and service animals such as dogs, birds, and even miniature horses are becoming more and more popular with over 500,000 in the U.S. today. These animals help those in life-threatening and stressful situations. However, the cost of these companions could cause even more concern. Madison, a senior at Fort Mill, decided she would look for a service dog after she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I went into service dog because when I was first diagnosed, I heard about them. I eventually started raising money, but I soon realized that it wasn't enough. While Madison raised over $2,000 for her dog expenses, this was nowhere near her goal of $16,500. This enormous expense raises the question of whether these dogs are even worth it. So I talked to Debbie Lang, the owner of a dog training facility in Charlotte called The Dog Knowledge. She says that the price of the service dog could range from $8,000 to $30,000, but that like a car, the more bells and whistles you add, the more expensive it becomes. For many people, this pricey pooch is the only option. However, Madison is able to look elsewhere. There's other options in diabetes care besides getting a service dog, such as my continuous glucose monitor. It just goes on my arm and it sends my blood sugar readings to my phone 24 hours a day. Whether it be pumps and reminders like Madison has or trained dogs like these guys, there are many options out there for those in need. And ultimately, it is up to the person to decide which option is best. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Reese. Service dogs are a great way to improve the well-being of people with different disabilities, and companies like 4Ocean are looking for ways to improve the well-being of our planet. With platforms in Haiti, Bali, and all across the U.S., this coastal cleanup service has picked up over 6 million pounds of trash. With 80% of the ocean being polluted, over 126 countries are working to place a ban on single-use plastics. To get involved yourself, you can find more information on these sites. While groups like these are concerned about our planet, other groups are more concerned about life from other planets. Social media has been exploding about the mysterious military base Area 51. Michael went out and spoke to a few students about the extraterrestrial event scheduled for next month. For decades, one thing has fascinated conspiracy theorists and the American people alike. They've been the premise behind films like Independence Day and E.T. And this summer, they've spawned one of the most talked about news stories of the year. And if you haven't guessed by now, I'm talking about aliens. On June 27, 2019, a man by the name of Maddie Roberts created a Facebook event called Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, to take place on September 20th where participants would raid the top-secret military base to, quote, see the millions. According to the Washington Post, roughly two million people had signed on to attend the event before the original post was taken down by Facebook, and an additional 1.5 million said that they were interested. I don't think the Area 51 raid, I don't think they're going to find anything. If there were aliens, they would have left by now. Uh, I think it's pretty funny, to be honest. I mean, it's not going to work out, or people aren't going to do it, but it's a good joke while it's going on. You know, I think it's I think it's good for, you know, America to see what's over there. You know, to see if they got any aliens or, you know, something like that. It's not part of the state of Nevada, so the federal government will dictate what goes on and how they can police that area. So I'm assuming from what I've read that they've told people, please don't come, they will be stopped at the gates. As you can see, there are definitely some mixed reactions on the event, and many view it as a joke. But we won't know until September 20th gets here. So, will you be there? Back to you, Andy and Adam. 
Club Rush will be held in the Arwing Gym in Maine Commons next Thursday. Be sure to check it out because you never know what might interest you. Also be sure to follow the new Buzz Twitter account for live updates about the show. Brent and Spencer will be bringing you guys the next show, but until then, I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Have, Have a, a great, great Labor Day, Day weekend, weekend, Fort Mill. Hey, Yellow Jack Universe. Uh, I'm your principal, Gail Scroggs. I'm very, very excited that you're here this year, especially to the class of 2023. Welcome to the Fort Mill family. We are so excited for another fantastic year at Fort Mill High School. My name is Miss Lindsay. I'm a new teacher and I teach English 2 and creative writing. Hello, my name is Dr. Padnot. I'm a new teacher here at Fort Mill this year. I teach pre-calculus. I'm Miss Sith. I am a new teacher at Fort Mill High and I teach 10th grade world history. I'm Mr. Hasty and I'm a new teacher at Fort Mill High School. I teach English. Hi, I'm Miss Custom Butter. I'm a new teacher here. I teach Biology 1 CP. Um, I'm going to be doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge with a Fort Mill twist on it. Yellow Jacket Universe. Go Yellow Jacket Universe. Yellow Jacket Universe. Yellow Jacket Universe. <laughs> Yellow Jacket Universe. <laughs> Yellow Jacket Universe. Yellow Jacket Universe. <laughs> Yellow Jacket Universe. Yellow Jacket Universe. Yellow Jacket. So how's my start? I, totally <laughs> I did too. I was hoping you'd see something. These are huge marshmallows. Your last name. Is that we not as your last Did you not see the sign on the door? Right, you could take a picture of the sign on the door. I hope this You're makes the TV show. I'm not procrastinating. It's fun. Some of us also okay. get around alongside. <laughs> and the bus is coming too. The bus is coming too. So it's okay. <laughs> what is that? Is that a cicada? Is that like the skin of a cicada? Brace for impact. <laughs> no, bro, we can't. What am I supposed to say? Like... <laughs> Service dogs are a great way. <laughs> <laughs> a great way. Kids! Oh my god! <laughs> options out there for those in need. Got nasally. <clears throat> As you can see, there are definitely some mixed reactions. <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't going to get a first try. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, don't worry about it.